Hey there, future real estate moguls. Today we've got an exciting roadmap for you, a step-by-step -step guide on how to buy your first rental property using the BRRR method. If you're ready to turn your real estate dreams into keys in hand, you're in the right place. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button or follow, hit the notification bell so you never miss out on any of our wealth building content. So let's get started understanding what the BRRR method is. It's not just a catchy acronym, it's a game changer in the world of real estate investment. BRRR stands for buy, rehab, rent, refinance, repeat. Each step plays a crucial role in not only acquiring your first property, but building a sustainable portfolio over time by adding value. Finding your ideal property, the first step in your journey is finding it. We'll show you how to identify potential gems in the market, and we will emphasize the importance of buying that property at a discount. That is where your journey to financial freedom truly begins, when you buy and acquire the right properties. Then, once you acquire that property, next up is the rehab phase. So you need to be able to know what the essential renovations are that add significant value to your property without breaking the bank. It's all about maximizing returns and creating a space that tenants and people looking to rent will love. So if you're gonna do what I did and move into the property yourself, do not over rehab it to make it your dream home. This is all about maximizing returns and adding value. The best properties, especially when you are starting out, are the cosmetic ones, carpet, paint, yard, landscaping, flooring. So if you can find a property with an unfinished top floor, for example, that you can turn into an additional bedroom or bathroom, those are some of the best houses. You wanna stay away from things such as foundational work, excavating, plumbing, that gets really, really, really costly. And then once your renovations are done with your property that you've renovated and now it looks fantastic, it's time to find the right tenant. So you'll wanna move into it yourself for some time or you look for a different tenant. And there are different ways you can market the property using different materials to showcase it, selecting the ideal tenant who will contribute to that house being a success because the next step is when you refinance. And when you refinance, the important part is getting the right value and it's the financial magic. So let's walk through and explain how you can leverage the increased value of the property that you just purchased and rehabbed. So this step's pivotal in recycling your capital for future investments. So when you refinance, it depends on if you're going to be living in the property or not. I have personally found that the longer you can wait to refinance, if possible, two years, even three, that you'll have better luck at securing a higher value in the properties appraised. So as an example, we had a house that we purchased for 55,000. And we did renovations such as we had, there were hardwood floors that we finished. We added a bedroom on the second floor. We did some work to the kitchen. I think we spent a total of about 20,000 for 75,000. After waiting three years, the house appraised for 120,000. If we'd refinanced sooner, it might've only come in at let's say 90 to 100, which means we could have only taken out up to 80, whereas at 120,000, now we can go even higher on how much cash we can pull out. And that cash is where you will now take the cash that you have pulled out of that property and you're gonna go and start looking for the next property that you're gonna acquire at a discount, rehab, rent out, and the game just keeps going and going. And I find that it's easiest if you do this by buying a property that you're going to live in, that you're going to rehab, live in for some time, refinance it because you'll need less down each time you acquire. And there you have it. That's the complete overview of how to buy your first rental property using the BRR method. Now remember, this is just the beginning and a high level overview of how to start your real estate journey. But if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with anyone who's an aspiring investor and give us a comment below with any questions you have about using this way to start your investing journey.